everything runs smoothly. I think I've got everything set up. I've been like super rushed, like last minute trying to get everything kind of going. So hopefully it's all um, it's all working all right and uh, we're good to go going forward. So let's see. Should be working fine. We'll just wait and hang out. Why is it? What's going on with my stream? My output? I haven't even got anything open, have I? I need my capture card open. I haven't even got that done. I can't believe this. Let's get this open. Let's get my DS on. And what's going on with this? the screen size as well? The screen looks. Hey, Yori. Hey, Mindabola. How are you? Sorry about this, guys. I think that the. Um, no, the screen's fine. Okay, that's fine. That's all right. It, it just looked a bit wonky to me for a minute. Jess, how are you, mate? Sully, gonna break this losing streak. Yes, I have to break the losing streak. We already broke it on the School of Hard Knocks anyway, so it's fine. It's fine. We got through it, Jason. You obviously haven't watched yesterday's episode. Oh, have you? But yeah, it's not been great this week, has it, mate? But um, how are you all? Hope you're all all right. Uh, we're going to be doing battle spot doubles this evening. Should be really good. Um, yeah, spoilers. Um, sorry, Yuri, if you haven't watched it already. It's really good, though. Like, literally, it's amazing. And you should go and watch it if you haven't already, regardless of spoilers. Sorry. <laughs> I don't know if you're trolling me though, because this is this is typical you. You'd be like, yeah, got you again every time. And Shira, hey, how are you? Salkran, hey, how are you, mate? And Jace, but Lee, you paid me to fake a fake account. You can win against, I wish. <laughs> this is the PA that I need from my manager. Yeah, good manager. Manabola, tonight I am finally here. I, uh, Paolo! I, I kind of thought it might be you. It's amazing to have you here, man. Thank you so much for coming by, and it's great that you're finally coming by the stream. It's awesome to have you here. Hopefully, we have a really good evening with everyone. So, and Shira, how, how are you? How are you doing? Nils, yo, how was Christmas? So long time since I heard from you. Such a long time. Johnny, hey, mate, how are you? Awesome. So, did I even put the tweet out? I don't know if I did. No, I didn't. So let's put the tweet out because otherwise people get angry that we don't tweet out. So um, I do have a new Batspot doubles team to play this evening, but I put all three that we've kind of built ourselves on the channel. Um, so we can pick and choose from them and we can play whichever ones you guys would like to see this evening. I'll kick off with the... Um, the newest one, I guess, if that's what you want. We'll maybe wait a few minutes. Yash, hey mate, how are you? And Yuri, no you didn't. Just wanted to say that lol. Okay, thanks mate. <laughs> Let's retweet. Yes, retweet everyone. So the team that we've got tonight. So I've got, uh, just to let you guys know, we've got uh, Batspot Doubles one, which is this one that we can play around with, which was the original one that we built together. That I'd love to do something like that again. Uh, that stream was amazing and just kind of building the team all together was so cool. We've got this team that we've been playing recently on the series, so we can play that one as well. And then here is the new one that we've got for this evening. Um, it's nothing massively exciting, but it kind of just showcases how good Charizard Y can be. So we can kick off with that if you guys want. Um, that should be pretty fun. Um, how is Yash this evening? And Eshi, how are you, mate? Thank you so much for dropping by. We're going to be playing some battle spot doubles this evening. So um, I don't know which team to kind of kick off with. I love the rain mod. Um, yeah, Yuri, there's no pledges on this. But the Venusaur is kind of cool. Uh, the Venusaur will, will support the Charizard really well. Uh, and the Cresselia is kind of different as well. Um, it's kind of weird having the um, Azumarill in there. And I kind of think maybe we should have put Heatran in that slot. But um, I don't know. We'll give it a go. We'll see how it goes. Um, will you release the Lele Rain team? It looks so cool. Yeah, man. I can I can do that. I'll do that right at the end. And we'll go in and we'll create the QR code right at the end. 
I'll have it on the end of the video and then I'll post the pace bin as well. So we'll do that before I, I log off this evening if that's cool. And I'll put everything on Twitter and over on the YouTube channel as well. So we'll definitely do that with the Lele team. It's pretty cool. Um, Yash. Doing good, mate, and yourself. I'm doing really well, mate. Thank you so much for asking. Um, I hope you're having a good evening. Thanks again for coming by. Jess, it's Conversion Z Cresselia, isn't it? <laughs> oh, my God. Um, yeah, that's exactly what it is. Yeah, no. The Cresselia is just a support Cresselia, unfortunately. It's nothing flashy or anything like that. I wish it got Conversion. How good would that be? That'd be pretty sweet. Um... And Johnny, no Gen 7 Pokemons. I didn't even realise that until now, actually, yeah. Let's kick into it. Let's get on. Let's have a couple of battles with this. Then we can go to the Lele team, maybe, and then maybe play the uh, the God of War team. And um, then we can then we can do the QR code and all that sort of jazz. And the pace bin for the Lele team. And then, and then we can finish up. So, I hope you guys are all alright. Have you got anything planned for over the weekend? Going to any events or anything like that? Be great to hear, let me know. Salkran, I'm exhausted from today, but still kicking it. Hang in there, mate. Hang in there. We've not got long to go. And then it's Friday, and then it's the weekend. Then it's all good. So we've got our first opponent of the day, Black Lily. Uh, and they're running a team of Salamence Raikou, Aegislash, Nilego, Tepu Bulu, and Volcarona. So... It's actually a really cool looking team. Probably Mega Salamence there. Um, Raikou's probably... Uh, will it be Volt Absorbed? I don't know, maybe. Um, we've got kind of like a ban core there, but with the, the Volcarona, and I presume it's going to have Rage Powder. You've got probably Wide Guard support from the Aegislash Slash for everything. Um, like Charizard here is like pretty good. And I, I think Charizard and... Um, Charizard Venusaur is not bad, but the thing is, we've got to be a bit careful because of the Nihiligo. Um So we could go Charizard, Y, Raichu, which could be quite good. Zephyros, hey man, how are you? And sorry if I keep missing the chat, guys. I will come back to it. Um, let's think. I do want Venusaur here because it's going to be so good against like a lot of their Pokemon and probably... Landorus as well. Yeah. Because Venusaur can deal with the um, the Salamence. We've got Hidden Part Ice on it. We're running a Life Orb variant. So we can... Basically, it's a really good check against Landorus theory and form. Uh, it helps protect um, Charizard Y really well. So we can always pick up the KO with the Hidden Part Ice on, on Landorus T. We're going to be outspeeding it every time the Scarf variants. Uh, we'll be outspeeding Scarf Lele and we can pick up a kill on those as well with the Sludge Bomb. So generally it's it's not too bad. Um, so we see my opponent lead off with the Volcarona. And the Raikou. Now the Raikou's not really putting on too much pressure because we've got the Lightning Rod on our, our little Raichu here. Um We're definitely going to Mega Evolve. Do we just overheat into the, the Volcarona? Could be Scarf though, that's the only thing. Like, I kind of want to maybe fake out into it. And Heat Wave. So I don't know what the Raikou is going to really do here. I mean, it could go for a Snarl. And that's something that could be a bit of a problem. Um. Snarl or Quiver Dance, I think that's the question. But we could just nuke the Volcarona. Yeah, with an overheat. And fake out into Raikou, I guess. So I don't really want to get snarled here. But you never know, like, the, the Volcarona could be scarfed. Could have something crazy like Hidden Power Rock. But you've got to imagine that the Raikou is like a support Raikou, really. We did get the fake out off into it. Just the only reason I didn't really want it. Yeah, there's the Fury Dance. Okay, so that's going to take. Uh... Oh, it's into Charizard. Okay. 
I don't mind that at all. And neither does Charizard. We're going to get the overheat off. It should pick up the KO, yeah. And Shira, yes. Uh, Shiny Raikou, event locked. Rash nature, but didn't see it as if it was in the Cherus Ball. Yeah, neither did I, actually. I should have noticed that, the shiny one. Is that the one that can have extreme speed? I'm pretty sure... I don't know if they're, like... I'm pretty sure there was an event where the, the, the legendary dogs got released with... Um, with extreme speed, but I'm not sure if it was the shiny variants or not. So, we do see Salamence take place for Charizard. Mad Captain. Another weekly, another lack of porridge video promised. I know. And you know what? I did try to do one this morning. I, pr I promise you, I did try to do them this morning. I actually was recording it and doing it because it's Kay's birthday today. I took a photo of my porridge for her. Uh, is it a little job? And um, I was like doing it all, putting the milk in, talking into the camera, and um, realized that I hadn't even. I have to hold down on Twitter to actually record. So I did try this morning. I will definitely do it. I promise. I promise. <laughs> I'm sorry. I feel really bad for letting you down the whole time. So what are we going to do here? Um, I feel like maybe we want to um, maneuver our ball position around a little bit. We're probably going to take it. Hmm. Protect Charizard and Vault Switch out with um, Raichu into the Salamence. Yeah, it's going to Mega Revolve. And who's not well? Ikari, hey Lee, what's up? I'm now at the hospital senior. She suffered an accident last week. Now I've been... Oh man, that is... I'm so sorry to hear that, man. I really hope everything's good with you. I hope you're feeling better. And I hope you make a massively speedy recovery super soon. Man, and I'm sure everyone else here will be will be wishing you all the best from all around the world. All good feelings towards you getting better. But I'm good, thanks, mate. Um, I hope you're feeling better soon. So, we do get the Volt Switch off. I kind of don't want to bring Venusaur in because we'll probably take a Hyper Voice, to be honest. Um, we might be better just bringing Landorus in, getting a, an Intimidate off. And then at least the next turn we can put some pressure on this Raikou with Earthquake. And I don't think a Hyper Voice should take down Landorus from this range. But we see a Dragon Dance. Wonderful. Okay. So. Hmm. Just going to Heat Wave. We might lose. Oh, how many turns of Cern have we got? Three. Okay. Kind of need to get Raichu in here. That's the only thing. Um, and what do I lock into? I mean, one thing I could do is just huh, switch out to Raichu. A new turn. So you've got a, the the Salamence will at speed, so we might be able to get a free switch in on. Venusaur here if it goes for a hyper voice but it's not gonna is it it's gonna go it's gonna attack into the Charizard slot you've got to imagine after you just protected probably with a double edge just going for another dragon dance okay that's not great and Raikou not even protecting here I'm probably gonna see a snarl come out from it Let's bring in Venusaur. There's no way we outspeed the Salamence now, though. At all. And a Reflect coming out from the IQ. Geo, how are you, mate? Great to have you here. And I'm so, super sorry, I'm just like, I am missing stuff in the chat. Um, this just got super difficult because Uh, like the Salamence is 100% going to protect this this turn. It has to protect this next turn. 
because one thing I could do is just try and cancel out these Dragon Dance boosts and switch Venusaur out to Landorus and just fake out into that slot. the protect. I don't think we could have really afforded not to fake out that slot though because if we just let the Salamence attack then something might go down. Um, do you see Snarl come out from the Raikou? I mean one thing we could do here is I've got Volt Tackle because I'm running a physical uh, Raichu here so we could Volt Tackle the Salamence. The only thing is um, The reflect's gonna, which is a bit of a pain. But I mean, we could rock slide just to get some damage. There's extra damage off onto it. it. Might be enough to pick up the KO after the, the Z move. So, frustration. No, it's gonna be more than enough to take us down. And I think here we're probably gonna take a hidden part ice. Avoid this elements. Yeah, I think this game's over. Unless we get like a lucky flinch, nah, just a snarl, but we do avoid that. <sighs> hmm. Bring in Venus or protect and just bring in Charizard get the Sun up again and then we can maybe cycle another intimidate the next turn but this Raikou is like seriously good it makes me think like earlier on we should have probably just overheat that slot and not worried so much about the Volcarona Charizard's going to go down. Literally don't think there's much we can do here because we can't protect the Venusaur this next turn. Um, we can't outspeed the Salamence. It's like Dragon Dance twice. I think even a minus one um, frustration is going to take down Venusaur. So, unfortunately, Jace. Hmm. Not going to be up to a good start. But never mind. Here's our frustration into Venusaur. Yeah, that's game. Game, game, game. It's a good game to my opponent. But I can catch up with the chat, so that's fine before we get into our next game. We'll play another game with this one. Jury. The sound is, is the sound of your alert song. I don't know, it should be. Have I missed alerts? Yeah, I think the sound, I don't know, it should be on. But I can't really tell if it's not because it looks as though it is. And roosting Salamence. This is ridiculous. So. Geo is here. Have no fear. Geo is here. That's great. Um, Minor Ball, I get well soon. Yeah. And Shari, no, Raichu hasn't got a hidden part ice. I kind of went for a weird variation on it. I'm just actually going to. Uh, I'll play this out and then I can just do the chat, I guess. Um, so with the Raichu, we kind of like, when I was putting the team together, it's like I don't even have a Z-move on the team. So I went Z-move on Raichu. It seemed like the only Pokemon I could kind of fit in there with a Z-move on. So um, this is why I think possibly having Heatran in that slot would be a lot better. I'm forfeiting this because this is just dragging on and no one's enjoying this. Especially not me. I 
and Jury. I'm confused. Did I miss the very not very effective damage from Salamence and Raichu? Yeah, Raichu's super weak and Salamence is super strong. So I think any kind of... It Dragon Dance twice as well. So good game to my opponent. We'll move on and hopefully have a better second game. But good game to Black Lily. Good way to open the show. <laughs> We'll have one more game with this team, and then we'll move on to our rain team, and then we'll um, we'll do the QR codes and stuff with that. So um, I will give this one more run out before we say goodbye to it for the stream this evening. And Jory, I think I saw an alert, but I didn't hear a sound. Yeah, that's weird. Okay, if another alert comes up, just I'll keep an eye out for it because we should have the alerts. They should be fine. And I don't know why they wouldn't be, so. Command blocked. Hey, mate. How are you? How's things going? And she peeps better. Be armed with hit with ice for new season. Winter is coming. I'm training my Z crystal glaceon with HP fire. Nice. Awesome. Right. So we've got our next opponent. Tapu Koko, Metagross, Ludicolo, Pelipper, Aegislash, and Tapu Lele. Right. Okay. I think Charizard and Raichu is not a bad lead here. Um, I think I might want to bring Cresselia to this one. And I guess Landorus is like a nice filler. Mm. Yeah, because we've got the Vault Switch and we can kind of just move our ball position around a bit more to get the weather back in if we need to. So, um, And take advantage of that fake out turn one. And Gio, are you doing QR code teams today? Not today, mate. I'm just going to play uh, the Battle Spot double teams I've kind of built. So we've got the one that I've played on the channel uh, the past couple of weeks, which is a rain um, call with uh, Ludi, Pelipper, uh, Swampert with Hydreigon, Tapalele, and Mega Metagross in there. And then we've got um, another team, which was our God of War one, which we could play next, which is really fun. And... And that was the team that we kind of built as a little community. I did a live stream on a Saturday and a Sunday. And over the two days, we built this team. And then we played it on the channel for like the next two weeks. It was a lot of fun. Um, so we could potentially do that. So we see my opponent lead out with Tabulele, Tapu Koko here. Um, we see that the, the Tabulele is scarfed. Um, so what's my opponent got? Um, yeah, there's no electric resist on the team. So it's unlikely that they've got access to well that coco's got discharge because there's nothing really that can sit next to and freely discharge so i can quite happily here just go fake out into the lele and heat wave mega evolve heat wave we might see no no switches coming out the coco can't really go for a, a vault switch here because of the lightning rod on the raichu as well so we kind of protect ourselves from that slightly There's a fake out into the Lele. Tapu Koko going for a Dazzling Gleam. Okay. Oh man. Raichu is so weak. But we do get the Heat Wave off. And... Pick up a KO on the Koko, which is nice. Lele is able to take it just with its... Um, bulkier special defense. And we'll likely see Pelipper come in here, you've got to imagine. But it's Metagross. Maybe my opponent hasn't brought the rain. Hmm. Okay. So I think here. Hmm. I'm going to protect Charizard. And I'm going to bring in Cresselia. For Raichu. Just Raichu could get picked off quite easily by that Tapu Lele. We kind of want to preserve it for later on in the game. Just to take advantage of the fake out if we can. To the Mega Metagross Evolve. Now the thing with Mega Metagross is it'll probably target into the Charizard. Because of the new mechanics it straight away outspeeds Charizard. Why? And can put on a lot of pressure with something like Zen Headbutt. And there's a Psychic from the Lele. 
So what was Ryan's shield, but now Cresselia, we are to take that and then then head back into the Charizard. One thing we can do is switch in our landers, get an Intimidate onto the Metagross and just go for an Icy Wind because um, now the Metagross is Mega Evolved, its stacks can be large, so that's quite good. We are actually going to see Aegislash come in for that Tapu Lele. And we'll get Landorus in. You've got to really expect maybe White God on the Aegislash as well. So this is then headbutt into Landorus because of the Intimidate we do take that quite well. And we'll be able to reduce the speed on everything. So this means when Charizard comes back in it doesn't need to worry so much about that Metagross. But we see no rain from my opponent. Um, do I just go for the earthquake? Hmm. And do I go for a U-turn? Probably just an earthquake. Doesn't really matter too much now. And maybe another icy wind. Or I could go for a moonlight, but. Hmm. We'll go for an Icy Wind. Like a Wide God's going to really shut us down here, but we might not see that. So we see Metagross switch out for Lele. Let's see what this Aegis Slash goes for. It's just King Shielding. So we are going to get rid of the, the Lele with the Earthquake here, which is nice. And then the Metagross can come back in. But if the Aegis Slash hasn't got Wide Guard, then. But the better thing here to do probably this next turn is switch Landers out so we can switch it back in, get another Intimidate off, just cycle like that. Jimmy Boyd, hello, how are you, mate? And Command Block, Lee, you still didn't tell us your idea for tournaments played on the Switch. Yes, you reminded me, thank you so much. After this game, I will go straight into it. Because I had a, a theory, like, what they could do. I don't know if they will do it, though. But it's it's, it's kind of a cool idea. Um, so, like I was saying, what I'm going to do is switch Raichu and just sack Raichu. Just so I can cycle another Intimidate. Hmm. You've got to imagine that Crest gets targeted here by the Aegislash. It's probably got a Z move. Um, we should be outspeeding it, though. So, we should at least get one Icy Wind off. To just make it easier for when Charizard does come back in. But no, we're going to see the Metagross reveal Substitute. Um, which isn't ideal really, but... Because it kind of... <laughs> makes it immune to um, any Intimidate coming in now as well. So we should have probably just stayed in and went for Earthquake. See Shadow Ball come out from the Aegislash. Slash into Crest, doing huge, huge damage. We see Life Orb, Sun Fades. Um, like a Vault Switch, probably will. Will a Vault Switch? No, it probably won't. We probably need to wild. Vault Tackle into the Metagross, to be honest. Ball tackle into it. And it's just if the Metagross protects here. But I don't know if it would. Let's go for it. The Volt Tackle. Yeah, Aegis Slash gonna protect. I don't think it's got Y God. You would have I think we would have seen it by now if it had. So there. Going for the King Shield. This should break the, the sub on the Metagross. I mean, luckily, win the speed tie there. Uh, Iron Head into Cresselia. Yeah, which will pick up the KO. The Rocky Helmet coming in. Handy there. So we will get um, Landorus in now for free. Get the Intimidate onto the, the Metagross. Hmm. 
Metagross is probably an earthquake range. I think the only thing we need to worry about is whether or not that Aegislash Slash has got uh, Y Guard now. But like I say, I think it would have revealed it before now if it had. So we'll switch Raichu out, bring Charizard in, get the sun up, and then we can go for that earthquake. Like, I don't think we'll take the Aegislash Slash down from this range at all. But if Landorus goes down, we've got um, Raichu to come in the next turn. Metagross not protecting here. Do take it down. Do big chunk to Aegislash, and I think we should be able to kind of lock things up now. So that's going to be good. We probably lose Landorus here to Shadow Ball. It looks like it's into the Charizard. Take that, and then, yeah, that's going to be game. So we can just Heat Wave and Earthquake and lock it up. The, the problem is with this team though is it's very wide guard weak. Like if my opponent's got wide guard it can utilize it quite well then it does make things a bit difficult and we've not really got any taunt on the team anywhere to kind of get around that. So um, I originally had Tailwind on Charizard Y but I felt like we needed some single target uh, fire type move just to kind of get around wide guard if we did bump into it because otherwise we're kind of really locked with what we can use so yes now let's catch up with what you guys yes so command block so my idea about the switch so we've got the switch coming out um in what well, the switch game coming out next year which we know is going to be a pokemon title so my idea was how do we play the tournaments and things like that because we can't take our switch console along to a tournament because the battery life just will not last as long um, and unless they introduce some sort of new timer system like Yuri mentioned last week uh, Which was like two minutes your time then it's just not gonna work is it? But what I thought was was cool and it would keep the DS and the 3DS like relevant would be to In past we've always had the, the main game on our handheld console and then we have um, a battle simulator on uh, our, our home console but why not reverse the roles there where they make a battle cons like a, 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 um, a simulator kind of battle coliseum game on your DS that you transfer your Pokemon from your Switch onto your DS game. Because everyone that plays VGC has a DS already. It kind of doesn't work in the same way because you need to have like both consoles and that's really expensive. But I guess it could work. That would be cool and it would be a way around it so we all still play on our ds's we just have something like um pbr on our ds and we train everything on our switch and then trade everything over to our like our rental mons over to our ds and then go from there i don't know i don't know i really don't know how they're gonna do it but that was my little idea and i mentioned it earlier in the week i just didn't get around to kind of explain it so command block there you go mate i hope that was worth it and jonathan why God never fails. That is true, mate. Yeah, never fails. You can use it over and over and over again and never fails. And Akari, that earthquake, awesome. Great play. Thanks, Shari. Uh, Johnny, what is Jamie Boyd saying? It's been icy winded. Yes, it has been icy winded. And Jamie, I've been watching, and everyone, all you guys should. Uh, Jamie is currently uploading his. Um, London Challenge games from last weekend where he got to the final and um, so he's, he's got like the games going up day by day Go and watch them over on his YouTube channel because they're awesome. They're really cool I've been keeping up with them all week. I've been really enjoying them. So um, and congrats as well, Jamie Sad that you didn't win but you did well. You did really well mate getting so far and it was like 6 30 in the morning when it finished or something which is crazy so What else have we got going on? Um, mad captain excited for London can't wait now yeah mate it's gonna be awesome really cool um, Yuri I don't think they want to do that for the new players that don't have a 3ds yeah that's true and Mandibola do I have a switch I don't mate I don't Um, I think one of the, it was weird Um, when the switch first came out I had a PlayStation 4 and Let's have a quick game with this team. So I had my PlayStation 4. I never played on it like at all. So I was like, I'll sell my PS4 um, and I'll buy a Switch. I sold my PS4. I pre-ordered a Switch um, 
to a game and then um, so it did it through PayPal and something went wrong with the order where it was cancelled so I didn't actually get in my pre-order of, of the, the, the console because it was on a deal it was on a really good deal and they cancelled it and then said there's complications and I was I think that was the weekend where I was I first got asked to commentate in Sheffield um, and I was really upset because I was like saying to the guys I'll bring my switch up we'll play it it'll be a lot of fun and uh, I was really upset by it and I, I just never have pre-ordered it since and I'm waiting now until Black Friday hopefully there's some good deals on it and then I'll probably end up getting one then because um, I'm desperate to play the new Zelda game and uh, Mario Kart as well because Mario Kart's like awesome and I'm going to need one now as well for, for Pokemon and all the other great games that are coming out so uh, I haven't got one yet but uh, if you guys have one and you've got any other games outside of what I've just mentioned like the two games that I've mentioned then let me know because I will be getting one and I will need to, to do some research on the games and things that are worth getting uh, Johnny um, maybe with QR codes actually that's like not a bad idea at all that would be pretty cool yeah could be like a QR app or something that we use I'm sure they'll think of something really cool that'd be pretty cool uh, definitely yeah Jis Lee works for Pokemon so we can pretty much take his idea as fact <laughs> no that is not true at all I, uh, I commentate and that is about it that's about as much say as I have on anything when I get asked to do it. But I wish I had input into the Pokemon games. How cool would that be? That would be awesome. Um, someone tells Sarah B. Jason, your PR for me is terrible. Sure, you used to be able to load teams from Battle Revolution on Wiimote. So concept could be similar. That would be really cool. I think anything like that would be like really feasible to do it. Lee, do you compete, by the way? And Lugia, VGC, hey. Um, yes, I do compete. Um, so I, at the moment, um, I've been doing a lot of casting. Got asked uh, to to cast events, and I am going to cast any event that I get asked to cast at because I get a lot of enjoyment out of it. But at the same time, um, I am one hundred percent playing competitively this coming season because I want to go to worlds. I want to play. I want to compete at worlds. And with the bar in Europe being so low for a day one invite, I think it's totally possible. Um, I'm going to an MSS tomorrow, and uh, not tomorrow, Saturday. So that's kind of like the kickstart of the season. I guess it's going to be the first time I can really get some points um, this season. And then um, Turin in December I'll be going to. And then Leisbig, hopefully, um, in Germany in January. And then I think Malmo. And there's a few others. So there's lots of regionals and special events I can attend. Um, that I think I'll be able to get that 300 points from so yeah 100% and once I've got the world's day one invite then then I can just concentrate on trying to get ready for that so yeah but I'm definitely playing 100% competitively this year Jimmy Boyd yes you're welcome mate it's been awesome this week so I would say definitely you guys go and have a look at it Helios hey man how are you Eshi uh, yes he is also has cool Battlespot series. He does have a cool Battlespot series. We need to hook up and do that collab again. Right, I'm going to hop into a game with this team. Now, this is the original team that we built as a, like a little community on the channel so very long ago. I think it was like the first live streams that I ever did on my YouTube channel. And uh, we spent a weekend together. Uh, being the guys uh, did like two live streams, one on Saturday, one on Sunday. And we built this team together. Uh, over the stream we discussed it what possibilities we did the EV spreads move sets everything and it came out pretty well in the end so we'll bring it back for one more game because we haven't played it for a very long time and um, we'll see how we get on so we've got our first opponent with this team next opponent um, running Configurus, Mobile, Octillery, Landers Theory and Form, Politoed and Ludicolo so definitely got a trick room switch in here with the rain mod um, being the, 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 the switch there, the fast mode. Uh, Configurus is going to be a trick room setter. You've got to imagine that Octillery has probably got Water Spout. Um, uh, Mega Mowile is always threatening under trick room, so that's a bit of a problem. Um, but we do have Fake Out, we do have Intimidate, we do have Wide Guard, we've got our own weather as well, we've got Zapdos as well. So we've got ways to get around everything. We just need to be able to kind of 
uh, manage the field well enough. So, mm. <laughs> what do we do? What do we do, he says, yes. I don't think we've got taunt anywhere. And I don't know if we've got, have we got, let's see. I need to refresh myself with what we've got on this team. We've got hidden power. Okay, so we have got trick room. We could actually trick room ourselves. Um, I think we want Araquanid and let's bring Titar as well. Not too sure if leaving Zapdos at home was the, the best play here, but we'll see. Because I think if we see the configurers come out um, as a lead, we can kind of trick room ourselves to counter the trick room. It's pretty risky, but we could go for it. I feel like we want to make plays like this tonight. Got to make it exciting. Jamie Boy also from Apple Pie. Uh, second coolest to Geo. Everyone's second coolest to Geo, though. Geo's like the top guy. So we see Ludicolo and Configurus come out here for my opponent. This makes things way more awkward for us, though, because we can't really... We can trade fake outs, but the thing is, Ludicolo is probably going to... Um, fake out a god of all which is the the big problem here um i mean one thing we could do is just mega evolve uh, do we want to do that though i guess we want to mega evolve we could close combat and just hyper voice here Because I don't think the Ludi's going to attack, it's definitely going to fake out something. So if we can just get some damage off onto it, that'll be good. If it's God of War, the Hyper Voice is going to be doing huge damage. Well, not huge damage to the Configurus, because those things are like tanks. Fake out from Ludi into God of War. So we'll get a close combat off into the Ludi. And we know if the Trick Room goes up this next turn, we'll have a... Um, We'll be able to close combat again into the Ludicolo and potentially switch into Titar, where our God of War is now, um, to take any potential Ghost type attacks coming onto that slot. The other thing is, though, that you've got to kind of worry about is. Um, might not have a ghost type attack it might we might it's just whether or not we see uh willow wisp onto the hit on top which wouldn't be good so it might be better off bringing a rack one in here for the hit on top with that water a bull ability we can't be burnt so um and just go for a hyper voice because i think we'll probably under speed the ludi with our god of war ally switch okay that's fine. Like, we don't mind that at all. Hyper Voice doesn't care about that. And we're going to see Waltarian Z on the Ludi. Guardi will take this, though, I feel, because Guardi's just so special defensively bulky. So we should be fine. And Araquanid's just going to enjoy this. This will be like a little back for the spider, I think. Yeah. So here we go. Just giving it a, just a, a spit polish. Still does a decent amount of damage, though. So we do get that hyper voice off. This will probably pick up the KR onto the Ludi. Yeah, and there's a nice chunk to that Configurus as well. So we do get rid of that. But I like Ally Switch. It's a cool move. Like, God of War gets Ally Switch. Um, I remember in 2014, I ran God of War with Ally Switch. Um, alongside a Scarf Crocodile. And the God of War had uh, telepathy, so I could Earthquake and Ally Switch next to it. It was pretty nice. Um, we see the Mega Mawile come in. We kind of really want to get rid of our God of War here. Maybe get him on top in just to cycle and intimidate. And do we go for the Waterium? I think we probably do here onto the Mawile. Let's go for it. We have been intimidated, so I don't think this is going to be picking up the KR, but it'll do a nice chunk of damage. If him on top gets through this turn as well, doesn't get hit, because we do have the eject button, you've got to remember. Um, then we'll be able to utilize the fake out on that slot the next turn. 
if it does go out, we can always bring it back in to cycle and intimidate again. So, um, we'll see. Safeguard. Oh, you've got to think that's kind of trying to set up maybe Swagger. Potentially. On the next turn. Which wouldn't be ideal. So we are going to get this Hydro Vortex off with our, our Aquanid. Like I say, because we are intimidated from that Mowile, we're not going to be picking up the KR, I wouldn't have thought. Like, Mowile's quite defensively bulky anyway. But it should still be doing huge damage. Which it does, yeah. And I don't think we've got too many turns of Trick Room left. So we've got two. Hmm. Let's go. Uh, I mean, we could... Like, does the Mowile protect here? You've got to imagine that the Mowile protects... Because of the fake out. And we are slower than it. I think it protects. I think we faint and go for a liquidation into it. Oh no, it doesn't. Fool. <laughs> of course. Of course it goes to the ally switch. So, really nice play. And us forgetting about it. Wow. Okay, more while under speeds are our Aquanid. I guess that's fine. <laughs> Ultimate face palm there. But that eject button does activate. Um, so we can bring in... I mean... We've got Ice Beam Assurance, Rock Slide. Hmm. Don't know if I want to bring Tito in just yet. Let's bring in Gardevoir. Yes, Geo, you saw Ally Switch. Ally Switch, configure us. We get, because of the eject button, we'll get to switch in, hit him on top again, so. We'll get another Intimidate off onto the Mawile, and I think this is going to be the last turn of Trick Room, which is, which is pretty nice, so. Um, we can just go Hyper Voice. And just go fake out into the mobile. Fake out's got higher priority than ally switch, so we'll definitely get this off before before the ally switch can take effect. Mobile protecting this turn, of course it is. <laughs> and swagger coming out onto Guardi. Okay. Hate swagger so much. So God of War confused. We do hit the hyper voice though, so that's good. Um not enough, not quite enough. And the dimensions do turn back to normal. Um we can just hyper voice. We have to kind of hope that the, the hyper voice is gonna be enough to take well, like, we don't hit ourselves with confusion now, um, and we take down the Configurus, um, and we can just close combat into the Mawile. That'll be enough to take that out from here. And it's just protected last turn, so we know it can't. It might switch out, we might see what my opponent's fourth Pokemon is. Oh, my opponent just thinking about it. I think we might. Oh no, we see a sucker punch. Okay, but because of those two intimidates and God of War not even entertaining the confusion, just snaps straight out of it. Picks up a clean kill on both targets here, so that's great. What am I missing? I feel like I'm always missing something in the chat. I feel like the chat's the place to be. Right, so what have we got? And Jamie, yes, I was a zombie in the final. I'm not surprised, mate. It was, like, crazy late. I didn't expect it to actually go on that long. We do see the Octillery come in. So I'm just going to Psychic and close combat into it. That should be more than enough. And we've got Phalaris is now following us. Thank you so much for the follow, man. Awesome to have you here on the stream this evening with us all. We see the Octillery not wanting to go down. 
too quick protecting. Tilly is such a weird looking Pokemon and it's got Moody as well of course I forget about that. It's actually a really cool Pokemon. It's still weird looking but it is very cool. And like I say I get, I'm sure it gets access to, to Water Spout. Just wanting to go for those protects, trying to get some mad moody boosts, I guess. We do get the psychic off. Wow. This thing's a tank as well. And what is this? Just leftovers? Yeah. Okay. Moody, what have we got this time? Attack and accuracy falling. Which is a bit unfortunate. So just going to Psychic and I'm going to Faint just to see because I'll probably just go for another Protect unless they forfeit here. Yeah, there's a Protect so we are going to get the Faint to play off as well which is pretty nice, I guess. Faint. She doesn't quite pick up the KO but Psychic will. So very good game to my opponent and uh, it's nice to kind of just take this team for a little run out tonight because we haven't played it for a, a long time but um, really cool so good game to my opponent um, and we've got Adam on the channel so hey man and Apple Pie VGC is here how did I miss that I need to catch up with the chat amazing so we've got an awesome crowd of you all tonight to catch up I know I don't know, I might be with Team Apple Pie. It's just I don't really know Ketchup playing like that well. I know he's like pretty sick, he's a pretty awesome player, but I think Apple Pie VGC is the way forward, the win. Rob is just cool. Rob's just a cool guy. I'm sure Ketchup Plant's just as cool a guy, but Rob, I love Rob. Rob's really cool. And Rob's a super strong player as well, so. Right, let's catch up with the chat. Hey Rob, <laughs> even though I've just been talking about you for five minutes, I'm just trying to catch up with the chat, so sorry. Kari, hey Lee, him on top is a good Pokemon, usually goes with Magus Salamence to fake out and then Dragon Dance after this, full retribution to all that said. By the way, it is very effective with fire types and grass types. Yeah, him on top in general is just so good. Just a, just a generally good support Pokemon, especially with the Intimidate and the access that it has to like Y God, Faint, Helping Hand, um, it gets close combat. And we can now, like back in like 2013 and, and 2012, um, when gems were a big thing like the, the item that you always ran on him on top was the fighting gem because the the, the the fighting gem close combat was ridiculous it would pick up chaos on like all sorts of things and it was amazing and um, I guess this is the first time we're going to be able to use it where we can actually put a Z crystal on it and uh, use it quite offensively like we did back in 2013 so that's going to be really interesting to see how that kind of unfolds as the season goes on because it's it's pretty awesome as a as a support Pokemon, and it always kind of makes a splash at some point of like a season whenever it's in like whenever it's allowed. And you know, we saw in even two thousand sixteen where it's kind of not really looked on as that great, but um, it still made a little bit of a splash there. And um, yeah, so I think it's going to be really cool to see how people play it this season. Right, where are we? Um. Helios, will you do another team builder live in the future? Definitely, I'd love to. I absolutely love the one that we did. So we should we should do that. Maybe what we'll do is wait for Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon to come out. And then once we know the format, we'll sit down and do one over a weekend on Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon and then play that on the channel for a little bit. That might be a cool idea. And it, you know, we'll all be brand new to the format as well at that point. So that might be quite, quite a good thing to do if you guys would be interested in doing that. And command blocked. Me, you've got to tell us you are. Yeah, I'm Team Apple Pie. I'm sorry. Team Apple Pie for life. Definitely. Salco <laughs> uh, and Configure us rather. Uh, True Blue Nails. I know what to do. Let's order pizza. Pizza's always good. But pizza's bad. Pizza's bad. Pizza's like a treat. <laughs> I sound so old saying that. Um, right, we've got a lot of team apple pie a ketchup plant yeah it's 
so we're gonna go through this. I'm gonna skip through all of this and try and catch up. Wow, there is so much chat that I've missed out on. Um, okay, I'm just gonna jump to the bottom, so sorry if I've missed anything. If you want me to see anything in particular, just make sure you tag me and I'll make sure not to miss it. Um, we'll go into playing the, the Lele Rain team now. So, what have we got? The one Geo, Eshi won the first regional. She ever played on. Yeah. Legend. This is true. Eshi is the best. Team Eshi. Or Team Apple Pie. Or Team Ketchup Plant. Hmm. Team Eshi. Every time. No, we don't want to play with this team again. Oh, this is annoying. It's not annoying. The team's great, but I wanted to play the Lele team. So it looks like we're going to play one more game with this team. I guess it might we might be able to feature something like the Excadrill or the Zapdos that we didn't get to play last game. So, okay. And I can concentrate a bit more on the chat, I guess, now. So, that'll be fine. Team AJ. Right. Johnny, guys, I just realised. If in Ultra, Sin Ultra Moon there is a man team to ride, has it has to be Octillery. Well, that's true. Yeah. That'll be interesting to see. We've got our next opponent from Japan, 15.09 rating. Playing a team of Politoed, Ludicolo, Hydreigon, Metagross, Tepu Lele, and Gigglet. So it looks a lot like the kind of core that we're playing. Obviously, he's got the, the Politoed of the Pelipper, and he's got a Gigglet of uh, what we would have Mega Swampert. So double weather here. Uh, one of the weathers, though, we don't mind because it's kind of part of our team as well. Um, and I don't really, like I kind of prefer Politoed to facing Pelipper, for, especially for Araquanid, because Araquanid like, doesn't like facing down against Hurricanes or anything like that. The Hydreigon Meta Metagross call is kind of awkward to play against, but I mean, hmm. We do have Hitmontop, which is going to be like no good here actually. So, I don't know even why I said that. I think we play Zapdos for sure. So there's no trick room on my opponent's team. And we could potentially go Zapdos. I think we need Gardevoir. We could go. Hmm. No, I think we need Tito. We bring Guardi and then Excadrill as well and lock in. Hopefully this works out all right. Right, what have I missed? Salkren. Views on whether or not Ally Switch will be a move to a move. I don't know. I very much doubt it. It seems... It seems to... I don't know. Maybe. Like, if they open up a lot of Pokemon to learn it, then it could be... Could be. I don't know whether they would though. It's quite. It's quite a strong move, especially with the high priority that it's got. So I don't. I'm, I'm not. Like I'm not massively sure. But it'd be interesting to see. I'm really interested to see what the tutor moves will be. Um. So we see my opponent lead off with the Hydreigon and Metagross here. I think one thing we could do is go Tailwind. Make sure we get that up straight away. Um. And we could just protect Tito, to be honest. Hmm. Or we could switch in Excadrill. It's just if the Hydreigon decides to go for maybe an Earth Power in that slot, it wouldn't wouldn't be ideal. But if we can, we can definitely guarantee, hopefully, a Tailwind with Zapdos. And I can't imagine, I don't know, like will my opponent double into the Zapdos here? If they do, Zapdos will probably go down. But you would imagine they want to kind of deal with the t at the same time. So Iron Head, yeah, into the t Um, And Hydreigon revealing Tailwind, so we're just going to match Tailwinds here. Hmm. So Hydreigon has got Tailwind probably definitely got protect probably got draco meteor and it's probably got earth power 
you've got to imagine is its last move. Hmm. Like it's more likely to have earth power, I think, than than um, flamethrower. But then again, ferrothorn for my opponent's team would be super awkward. So flamethrower could make a lot of sense. The reason I'm trying to work it out is because we could get um, a decent switch into Guardi um, on a Zapdos slot and then Excadrill on a Titar slot. Because if my opponent goes for the Iron Head into the, the Titar, we'll be able to take it. And if it's a Flamethrower, Draco Meteor into the Zapdos, which are the, the odds that it probably is likely to be, then Guardi should be able to take it. It's just if my opponent throws out an Iron Head onto that God of War slot. Which wouldn't make much sense unless they predicted a switch. Hammer arm into yeah, Excadrill. That isn't good. So we're gonna lose Excadrill. Uh, okay. I kind of prefer to lose Tito in that situation, and we're gonna see. This is gonna be a Black Hole Eclipse into God of War. And this could not have gone any worse for us, I swear to God. God, he actually takes that, okay. Somehow. Um, like we can't really bring in Tito. Um, uh, we need to try and get a trick room off. Like that, I think that's what we should have went for in the first place, rather than tailwinding. But I just never thought that Hydreigon would carry tailwind. But makes sense that it does. I just forget that it's a tutor move. Um, hmm. We probably have to bring in Zap. Uh, well, let's bring in Tito. Yeah, Metagross is minus one speed now, but I think because. Like, we're middling speeds with, like, both our Pokemon here. I don't think we're going to be... Especially if we Mega Evolve with Guardi. Like, we're not going to get a Trick Room off. Um, and you've got to think the Metagross probably wants to target the Gardevoir here, I'd imagine. But, like, an Assurance. Two Assurances aren't going to be enough to, to get the Metagross at all. We've just not really led very well in this game. So Metagross actually withdrawing. Politoed coming out. Yeah. Um, Luigi, what does Assurance do? So Assurance, um, it doubles the damage done if it goes second. So if something hits it first, and then you hit it with assurance, assurance um, power doubles. So it's like pretty powerful coming off something like Tito. Um, hmm. We're in a real catch twenty two situation here because we can't really switch out. We need to switch our T-Tar to, to try and get our weather back in. And with God of War just protecting the previous turn. Like, we're going to get outsped by the, the Hydreigon. It's so threatened, it has to just target into that slot. And we'll probably see a Scald come out from the, the Polycode, yeah. Hmm. This might be an Earth Power. But, not a Draco. Scarf Toad, yeah. Lucky Chucky. In my opinion, I think Metagross is the best Mega in the current format. I think you're probably right. I think it's... I think with the new mechanics that it's got, 
it's just ridiculous and I think the coverage that Hydreigon gives it it's just so so good Um, I've got a team that we've been playing on the, the channel if you haven't seen it which has kind of got that core in it so we will play that I did, just wanted to change we weren't even meant to go into this game with this team so we will play it next turn Um, I mean the Polito probably switches out here Um. The Hydreigon might as well, that's the thing. Like, it's minus two. It's not really threatening too much at the moment. We could just T-Ball an Assurance, but I think we're too far behind to actually gain any kind of real comeback here. Skull, Politoed not even switching out. I'm just gonna try and chip away the Zapdos. Picking up the burn. And poor Zapdos going down. Geo, immense is garbage. <laughs> yeah, I don't think like Mega Salmons is nowhere near as good as what it was in previous formats. Not now, I don't think. But Jimmy Boy, that's because you haven't tried it yet, Geo. Yeah, Jamie always loves. Jamie, you love Mega Salmons. I'm just gonna forfeit because there's like no point of punishing a Tyranitar anymore. Good game to my opponent. Um, we just messed up completely there. Bad turn one. Um, but and what was that? What's that? Yash. Mega B drill. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Team Leaky had Mega B drill. It was really cool. Like I was quite surprised with it. It's power. It's pretty decent, but. It's still not the best Mega, I don't think. But I do think like Metagross has like jumped right above Kangaskhan at the moment. So um, what we'll do guys, we'll have one game with this Lele team. And then um, Eshi asked earlier on if I could publish the QR code and the pay spin of this team. Um, so where is it? Where is it? Here we go. And I said, yes, that's fine. So what I said was, at the end of the stream, before we log off and go uh, our separate ways for the evening, I will create the QR code live. I hope it works out, it should do. Um, and then I'll post the paste bin as well on here. So we'll do it all at the end of the stream. And it means I can catch up with you guys as well after we've had at least one game. And then um, I can do that and we can get that sorted for you all. So, we've got our next opponent of the day, and I can't for the life of me remember the name of this skunk. I'm just like, it's skunk? Okay, sure, skunk Pokemon, isn't it? <laughs> I have no idea what it's called. I've like never even used it. I know it's like a poison type. I should really learn that. Um, so, we've got that skunky looking thing. We've got Cresselia, Salamence, uh, Cresselia, um, Celesteela. Tapu Koko and Gastrodon. So the skunk thing's just throwing me off completely. Um, right, what are we gonna do here? Because the Celesteela is quite threatening to, um, quite a lot, we've not got any electric type. Skunk tank, thank you. Thank you so much, man. Uh, we've not got too much for the Celesteela um, and electric type attacks. But I think Lele, does Lele? No, Lele's life orb, so we don't. So we've got to smash it with some sort of water type attack. But the problem is we've got that Gastrodon there that has the, the storm drain ability that will become a bit problematic. We've got to imagine maybe the crest leads though, my opponent. Um, hmm. So we could lead Hydreigon Metagross, which isn't a, like a bad lead at all. Um, maybe bring our rain mode in the back. Ludi and Pelipper. But we haven't even locked in our rain. Okay. I think we've locked in with Swampert, which is like the not one that we wanted. Could this get any worse? I swear, it'll be fine though, it'll be fine. We only need like three Pokemon. Ah <sighs> Right. Groundium Z Landy Okoyo's Gengar to protect. Yes, it does. 
Yeah, I think like Z moves, like you're saying, do make it a bit more difficult for Paris Song teams to operate. So we see my opponent lead off with Cresselia Tapukoko. Um, we could go for Black Hall Eclipse into the Cresselia. That will pick up the kill. Mega Evolve. And we do have Swampert, I guess, but no rain, uh, which is so ridiculous. Um, and maybe, I mean, one thing we could do is, hmm, like what's Corco going to do? Is it going to T-ball into the Metagross? You probably imagine that it does. So we could, so my opponent got Trick Room Switch. It's not likely it's going to go for a Trick Room, I don't think. So let's go for an Earth Power into the Corco. Mega Evolve and Protect. I think the problem is though, if if the Coco goes for a, a Dazzling Gleam here, but you'd maybe think that it want to get rid of the Metagross more than anything else, maybe. Although the Hydreigon's putting a lot of pressure onto the Crest, so you kind of want to protect that, so maybe you go for the, the Dazzling Gleam. If this is a Twinkle Tackle. No, it's not. It's a Gigavolt Havoc. Okay. So. This is going to be into our Metagross. So we do take that quite well. What's this? What do I have a high setting on, Yuri? And sure, yeah, Hydreigon can take um, a Dazzling Gleam. But not from this range that it's in now. Um, and I think we've got to really adjust our board position a little bit. Maybe bring in the Swampert. But I don't think we see it. Like, do we see a Dazzle now? I feel like we probably see a T-Ball over anything else. Hmm. But we might see a Dazzle. I don't know. Coco might expect maybe Bullet Punch, but... I can't believe we not brought the rain. Dazzle. So Hydreigon's going to go down here, I'd imagine. Yeah. I'm going to get Icy Winded. Oh, Yuri. Nothing important. Just auto mod set in this. Take an Icy Wind. We can bring in Ludi here. We can't even mega evolve with Swampert because we've not <clears throat> we've already mega evolved with Metagross. Disastrous game. Disastrous. Jace, I feel like I jinxed you earlier, Lee. This is all my fault. I apologize. Yeah, Jace, this is all your fault, mate. This is all your fault. We timed out. Talking far too much. I feel like I just forfeit this game and then we play another one, really. Because this is just... I feel like we're not getting anywhere with this game. It's terrible. I need to pay more attention when we, what the timer is going down. Yeah, yeah, timed out and we didn't get locked in with our last Pokemon. I'm going to forfeit because th there's no point in playing on with the team. We're not, we've not started well at all, so let's just go on to a fresh game. And I apologise to my opponent, but you can have the points now. Never mind. So we'll play one more game with it and then we'll do the QR code team. But you guys are probably watching this and thinking, 
I don't want the QR code team with this team. It sucks. Like, look at it. It's terrible. It's it's actually all right if you pick the right Pokemon. <clears throat> Lee, did you head to a PC last weekend? No, I didn't. I didn't um, get a chance to go to the, the PC last weekend, so it was a bit unfortunate. Um, I think the... I don't know when the next one is, actually, in Bristol or Yeovil. I think uh, Susie is planning some soon, but there's an, a mid-season showdown in Yeovil quite shortly as well, I think, in the next couple of weeks. So I'll probably head to that as well. Uh, so that should be a lot of fun. Um, but I haven't been to a PC all season. Um, it's just really bad timing when everyone has been arranged. There's, I've always had other stuff going on. So, right. We've got our next opponent. Let's make sure we make this count. We've got a team of Mobile, Mimikyu, Gliscor, um, Toxapex, Gudra, and Snorlax. So lots of bulky Pokemon. Um, Trick Room mode there with the Mimikyu, you got to imagine. Um, Gliscor, I'm sure, can learn Tailwind, but I don't know how likely that is. So I think we don't bring a, like a Rain mode here. Is it really going to be that? Great. I think maybe Lele Metagross Hydreigon be a lot better. Just need to be a bit careful for the mobile. Um, maybe Ludi with the fake outs, not bad, but we can't really do anything to the the Mimikyu if we lead with that. Um, hmm. Let's go Pelipper in the last slot. It's like Ludi could be good, but I think just because we've got the Psychic Terrain, then we're probably better off with Pelipper. And maybe the Tailwind might come in handy late game. So, yeah, let's see that. And Nigel, how are you? You doing Orpington this weekend? Yes, I am, mate. I am doing Orp Orpington. It'll be awesome. Uh, Mad Captain, I want to head to Orpington, but it's too far for me. Oh man, that sucks. If you can make Yorville, that would be awesome. I think Yorville's in like two weeks or something, I'm pretty sure, or maybe a week. I'll see if I can go to the MSS in Yorville, if there is one, Salco, and that'd be cool. And Johnny, for the next battle spot doubles team, you should try Scarf Corpor um, and Mega Sceptile. Yeah, that's cool. I've heard a lot about that. It sounds like a lot of fun. We do see Snorlax and Gliscor lead for my opponent. Um, hmm. What are we going to see here? Like the Gliscor will go down to it. You've got to imagine a black hole eclipse. So we just attack into that slot there. Um, Mega Evolve and let's go Sub. Because I'm pretty sure Gliscor is not... It's not base 100, is it? I should really brush up on base speeds of stuff because I, I do kind of forget from time to time. But I'm sure like Gliscor is like base 95 or something like that. Yeah, 95. Yeah, that's fine. But it is scarfed. Okay, so that makes all the difference. And the Razor, hey man, how are you doing? Now the ice cream would be nice here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we get the sub up with Metagross. We're going to get this Black Hole Eclipse into the Gudra. It'll be interesting to see what the Snorlax goes for. But at the very least, like, <clears throat> this probably won't pick up the KO on Gudra, but it will put it in range for a Draco to, to be able to kind of nuke it the next turn. Definitely Assault Vest. And Snorlax going for a stockpile. Alright. Brilliant. So we'll just go with that Draco root um, and... Just go with the more reliable iron head. Hopefully we can pick up like a flinch along the way. Um 
I'm going to have to probably try and get Lele in it, in it at some point um, and try and taunt that Snorlax. Hopefully this Draco takes the Gudra out so we can do that next turn. And a flinch here would be... Oh, what? It doesn't even pick up the kill from that range. Going for an Ice Beam. We should, do we tear this? No. Okay. So we're going to get a free switch into... going for another stockpile now this is where the point where I'm like have we actually got taunt on Lele yeah of course we do excellent so we can taunt the Snorlax should be able to pick up a kill onto the Gudra but the Gudra might switch out here um, but we'll go for that taunt and just stop the Snorlax getting any more setup and then also with that, we've got the, the Zen head, but it's going to be like extra power with the, the psychic terrain, so that's quite nice. No switch is coming up from my opponent. Iron head picks up the kill, and we'll get this taunt off onto the Snorlax. And the main thing is it's kind of stopping it going for that recycle, because you've got to imagine it's probably got um, a berry. And it's probably got belly drum as well, maybe. trying to work out what's going on in, in the chat because all I can see is Rob saying that sounds like someone dabbing really fast and I want to know what he's talking about <laughs> okay so we see the glide score come back and we know it's scarfed um, I mean I kind of wanted to just it's not going to earthquake here is it does it knock off into the metagross maybe I mean, we could just Psychic and Zen Headbutt into the, the Snorlax. Like a Life Orb Psychic. I don't know if it'll take it down. Wow. Okay, so he's Earthquake and everything. So there's the Zen Headbutt. We do hit. Because of those stockpiles, though, we're not going to be doing half as much damage. Proc the berry. <laughs> Does the psychic take this glyce go down? And where's the Snorlax togging into? You've got to imagine it's into that Lele with like a return. Yeah. So we're literally on the clock now because we've lost our, our, ta our way of taunting. Um. We can always hop four. Well, and it's Mimikyu. Excellent. Unless we've not seen any Z moves at all, we can expect probably. Ah. I mean, we have to just double into the Mimikyu here, really. Um, and we can protect Metagross, get a Hurricane off into the Mimikyu. But the problem is if the Mimikyu goes Trick Room here. So no, it's likely gone for the Zeke. Oh, it's gone for Twinkle Pack off. Okay. Alexo, hey man, how are you doing? You rated 1801 in Battle Spot Doubles, that's pretty awesome. So we see Twinkle Tackle takes us down to our Sash. Get the Hurricane, we'll break the Disguise. And get the Confusion with it, but Snorlax probably doubles into Pelipa here. This is done because 
<laughs> Snorlax can just recycle Belly Drum, do whatever it wants here to be honest. We'll go for an Iron Head, get rid of the Mimikyu. But Lucky Chucky, I'm 1955, that's pretty awesome as well, man. Take down the Mimikyu, but this Snorlax is going to be a massive pain. We're going to need some, like, huge, huge bits of luck on our side. Especially after two, like, stockpiles. It's a bit ridiculous. See, so you get that recycle off. I don't think there's much winning this at all. Although it does have, like, return. It's not got a massive weight to, like, deal damage to us. But the Psychic Terrain is going to run out <clears throat> sooner or later. Yuri, 149 followers on Twitch. Can we reach 150 today? Congrats on the first on the 1K YouTube channel. Thank you so much, Yuri. That is like I really appreciate that. It's, uh, it was amazing to get through the week. Uh, it was like really cool. So yeah, it'd be nice to get to a 150 today. That would be pretty cool, wouldn't it? Um, this is super difficult because we're probably going to see. Hmm. Let's go sub. Because if the Snorlax decides now to go for the Belly Drum, then we could maybe catch it the following turn with a flinch or a couple of flinches. Alexo Poke now is following us. So there's 150. Amazing. Thank you so much for the follow, man. And I just totally missed what, what we did there. So I just need to look on the replay. To Right. No, I've caught up and I've totally missed it. So I really don't want to just activate the. Um, I'm just going to protect. Right, I'm on the replay now, I'm looking what happened. Hopefully, it didn't go for a belly drum. No. There's the belly drum. Okay, so we'll prop that berry. Wow, okay. If we can get some flinches now, this is like the point where we can maybe do something, but this is it. I mean, and I mean, like our Iron Heads and Zen Headbutts aren't going to be doing very much at all. Did we get a flinch? No. Yeah, we need crits. We need crits and flinches, Geo. Time to crit. If we all pray hard enough to the the, uh, the RNG gods, we might get crit. There's one. Did we get the flinch as well? Oh, no. You guys must have been praying super hard for that. <laughs> but we just see another recycle. We need another crit. We need another crit. So let's go for the iron head again. No flinches though. <laughs> and Rob Lee, don't give your teams anymore, please. Okay, I I can't promise that. So there's one flinch, okay. I can't promise anything, Rob. I can't. Yuri Yuri Yuri's been doing pretty well. I've gotta get help Yuri get to worlds. That's the mission this season. Do we get one more flinch? We do. Okay. So if we get a crit here, I feel really bad for my opponent, but if we do get a crit, then this this is a good send off for the episode tonight. Come on. Come on, Metagross. One more flinch? One more flinch? I feel like this is just going to go around in circles. Keep going around in circles. Would we have more luck with um, Zen Headbutt? Maybe not. Let's go Zen Headbutt. The thing is, Zen Headbutt will just miss, won't it? It always misses. Going for those returns now. 
Yeah, this is pretty much game now because the sub will go and I'm pretty sure from this range we're in return territory. I can't afford to go for another Zen head, but we need to just go for Iron Heads and hope that we get Dr. Ingo, Ingno uh, flinched. Do we get one? No, we just see recycle. So we basically need a crit, a flinch, and then a crit to win this game. Which is never anything you really want to kind of rely on to win a game. Um, this guy is stream sniping. He blatantly is. And that's, that's it there. The second recycle at this point with its health is definitely definitely over we're just not flinching enough <laughs> Geo, we need a flinch and a crit and probably another crit there's one flinch but it's not like enough I feel like we need to flinch flinch well if we crit from this range maybe and flinch maybe we could get another sub up another one okay so it's definitely gonna go for um, a recycle here you've got to imagine it goes for the recycle because it expects us to take it into it so we can get a free sub up here maybe I oh, just go straight for the return not even messing around okay Okay, if we ever, ever need a crit, we need a crit right now. Come on, Metagross. Let's do this. Please. No. <laughs> oh, return, and it's done. It's done. Good game to my opponent. I would have felt a bit mean taking the win there, but... Um, yeah, we kind of were praying for every kind of RNG possible. Never mind. Right, okay. So after this showing, these guys still want um, the, the QR code for the team. Let's hop over to the global link. And let's do this. Let me pull this over here so I can just do it. For you guys and keep up to date with the um the chat and everything and i'll just log in it should take me like two minutes to do the um the qr code for the the lele team is eshi still here i can't see in the chat but so next week guys as well on the stream what we'll do is we'll do view battles again because we haven't done that in a little while so um if you'd like to come along next week and then I think that's my password yeah and then we'll do some we'll do some viewer battles it'll be cool I'll probably do a little bit of a longer stream as well just to make sure that we fit everyone in um, that wants to play it'll be a lot of fun we can play anything from like 2013 right the way up and um, so it's entirely up to yourselves if you'd like to come and do that and you've got the old cartridges like pearl or diamond um x and y black and white all the old games we can just hook up and play on those if you'd like it should be pretty cool um ba -ba -boom. so we need to go to qr rental teams i think i need to delete a rental team but we've got teams we can definitely delete Gio, you need to stream more often. I know, mate. I, I like. I really want to. At the moment, it's quite difficult for me to um to like add another day um into like just like work and stuff like that. But I definitely it is something that I want to do. Um, and I might either do like a Tuesday night or move this one to a Friday night. Um, so that would that would be cool. Um, but thanks, mate. It means a lot hearing that, especially from you, my man. Um. What else have we got, Jury? No, I'm pretty sure Eshi is gone. Eshi was the one that like suggested this at the start. We'll get her next. We'll get her next time. Okay. 
Um, and Man of Baller, that would be great. And Paolo, if you can make it next week, that would be amazing. I'd love to have a game with you, mate. Um, do you guys want the QR code team now? Because I will I'll put it... I said I'd do it, I guess, so I'll do it. Um, what am I going to burn? Let's get rid of this one. Let's get rid of that one. Okay. And then we can go to where we register. Um, what am I going to call it? What am I going to call it? Um, mega, double mega, double mega, rain lele. Raining Lele. That's what we'll call it. Um, rain team with Fantasy Core. Mega Mega. Um, as seen on Studios YouTube channel, I guess. We'll just say that. Um, check out Battle Spot Double Series for reference. And that's a shameless plug, but I guess it's got to be done, right, guys? It has to be done. Uh, let's make it public. And it should be pretty much done. Right, there we go. Amazing. Okay. So, um, let me just pull it up. And there we go. Amazing. So, everyone, there it is. There's a QR code. So, I hope you enjoy it. And I will see if I've got the pay spin of the team as well. I'm not sure if I've got it. Um, no, I might need to create that. I'll tell you what, I'll put it up on the channel, on the video when it's uploaded to YouTube. I'll make sure it's on that for you guys. So, yeah, what have I missed? Yes, means a lot when Jess says it, but I say it and they just bat him over. <laughs> Jess, you never say anything nice. Every time, mate, every time. PR, the PR, we need to work on this, Jason. And Jason, are you actually going to be at Orpington this weekend? Be good to know if you are there, mate. Um, Lucky Chucky, yes, I see, I remember you. Good games are currently on my only loss in VG17 ladder. That's pretty impressive. Salkran, double mega rain, Lele, inspiringly. Yeah. It's not. It's not anything really inspirational, is it? Um, but I think that's it, guys. I think I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna end up now. I. I will make sure that the pace bin of that Batspot doubles team is on the YouTube channel on the upload. But there is the QR code for the team. If any of you want to go and try it out, um, if you want the pace bin, just hit me up. Uh, DM me on Twitter or on Facebook or anything like that and I will pass the pace bin over to you but um, and no uh, Jason I won't be there for at least one of the double uh, so you'll be there so I think there's some in December as well so that'd be pretty cool um, that'd be awesome all right guys well thank you so much all of you all of you for coming by tonight it's been absolutely amazing some of the games haven't been great but it's been a lot of fun um, and Shira, Shira, thank you so much for coming by. It's been awesome having you on the stream. Um, and I'm pleased you enjoyed it. I hope you can come back for another one. And uh, we will be trying to increase our streams as we go forward. Um, and hopefully the next time we do a Battle Spot Doubles one, it'll be a lot better than this one because I feel like some of the battles tonight haven't been that great. And uh, just messing up quite a bit on timing out and stuff like that. But we can, uh, we can work on that later. It's just nice hanging out with you guys and... Uh, hearing how you all are and stuff like that and um, that's been a lot of fun but um, you know what what I might do next Wednesday because I said I was going to do um, a special 1, 1k subs episode I might do a live uh, I might do an extra stream next week on Wednesday night um, 
and instead of the episode that might be a lot better and then I can hang out with you guys a bit more and then I've got some like competition prizes I've got some plushies I've ordered so I've, I'm gonna be doing a little competition with some really cool plushies so um, we can do that as well and we'll do the competition just on the episode so the winners are announced We'll do the competition at the start and throughout, and then we'll announce the winners at the end. So someone will, will, will do it all in one episode. So whoever is around can win, I guess. And then we can do a little side one for people that can't attend. But that might be that might be quite cool. Cheers, 24 hour stream for 1K. Yeah, I don't think so, mate. We are gonna set up a 24 hour stream for charity though. That is in, in the works at the moment. So that would be cool. We don't need to do Wednesday. We could do any day next week, but let me know. Let me know your 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 thoughts on that, because if not, then we'll just stick with Thursday. We could do the special on Thursday, I guess, next week, and do viewer battles as well at the same time. That may be quite fun. Um, Twenty four hours is enough time to get at least something forage related. <laughs> that is so true, Yash. So true. Command block. Is that still a thing? It's always a thing, man. Especially when Jason's like so active in the community, it always seems to be a thing. Um. Any other night, Lee? Okay, man. I will consider it, and we'll we'll sort something out. Maybe Friday. Friday might be quite cool. I can't do tomorrow night though. It would have to be next Friday, for a couple of reasons. So, yes. Um. Right. I'm gonna finish it up, guys. Thank you as always. It's been absolutely amazing. I've loved every second of it, like I always do, and I just appreciate every single one of you for coming coming out and hanging out on the stream and we'll do this again next week it'll be viewer battles so do stay tuned and we'll i will let you know about what we're going to do for a 1k um special thing but there will be prizes and all sorts of stuff involved so it'll be a lot of fun um but i'm gonna gonna go off so have a great evening guys uh whatever you're doing um and have an amazing weekend if i don't speak to you before then and I will see you all next week on the stream on here and over on the channel if you catch up with us stuff over there tomorrow. So until then, guys, take care of yourself. And Yuri, Tuesday, Friday, and the weekend work in addition to Thursday for me. Amazing. Great. Thanks for that, Yuri. And everyone, bye-bye. Have a great evening, and I will see you all there. Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.